time to get our flippers on and go jumping in the sea because we're going after the Megalodon today. Now, considering these guys are meant to be the all-round kings of the sea, I kind of have to disagree with that. In fact, I strongly disagree with that. These are meant to be the Rexes of the ocean and I just find them an absolute shamble. I think these guys suck. Even Chief Brody would be warning us to stay in the sea than out. Hey y'all, get in the water. Now instead of just hearing me bitch about these megs, let's go into the video and see for yourself. So first thing is first guys we are going to need the Megalodonio saddle and this can be unlocked at level 47 which is about mid game and it's not too bad actually so you need 30 cementing paste, 155 fiber, 290 hide. Not too bad considering at this point in the game you should have some materials stacked up. Once you've got your Megalodonio saddle we're going to need some equipment and today we're going to take the Harpoony Poonani gun. And also, we've got a spyglass. I forgot I already had that equipped. I'm going to take our trank spears. And we're also going to take our spear bolts as well. Just put back up. I'm also going to take some spears with me. Now, I've lost my pike. So, a spear I'll just have to do. If you've got a pike, use a pike. If not, use a spear. Use the poor man's spear. And one of the must-haves when you get later on in the game is obviously the scuba gear. We're going to need this because this is going to save our lives. We're also going to need some narcotics as well. We'll take 200 just to be safe, but I don't think we'll need 200. 200 should do, though. And when it comes to the taming food, guys, we're going to be using superior kibble. And to cook this, all you're going to need is two citronol, one prime meat jerky, one large dino egg straight from the dino's blood hole, five fiber, two rare mushrooms, one sap, and one water. If you're a poor man like me, and as you can see, I don't have that much kibble, you can just use the poor man's kibble, and that is just normal raw meat. Okay, guys, so I think we're all ready and set. All we need now is our boat. You're gonna need a bigger boat. What the hell do you mean, Chief Brody? You're gonna need a bigger boat. Man, I got a bigger fucking boat. If you're looking for the location of this giant goldfish, then all you need to do is dip your little tushy in the water, and they'll be all over you like a tramp on McDonald's. Sausage, McMuffin. Normally, in about three or four of them. But the Megalodon is located all the way around the island. In the sea, obviously. Not, I don't mean like in the redwoods and places like that, obviously. <laughs> but they will be located everywhere around the island. I just want to take this time out to apologize to a friend of mine, Kit. I know you've made us a lovely boat and I never got around to telling you this because I'm, I'm a bit afraid because, you know, the last time you lent me a Pteranodon, I got that killed. I shot my own Pteranodon there. Uh-oh, Pteranodon down, Pteranodon down. But... I kind of accidentally broke your boat and I've never found the right time to tell you. So if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. I broke your boat. Please forgive me. Wow, confession is relieving. Roll hate mail. So I found myself here at Cardo Island. Probably the worst place I could end up. But I do believe there's a lot of megs that live around here. At least I hope there is. So let's go and get our little tushy in this water. We're going skinny dipping. And there we go. Hello. Oh, I'm coming to get you. Is your mom home? No. Okay, so we've got a little shitty meg there that we don't want. So what we're going to do is carry on around a bit more. Now, I know there'll be a few. There should be a few megs anyway around this, this godforsaken island. Okay, let's see if there's any more over here. Oh, we've got one down there. It'd be nice to go right down and take one. Level 12, level 4. 
Oh, what are you? Oh, level 20. Getting better. Not the best, but getting better. Let's keep going round. Okay, so we're moving round a bit. There's some jello men. Do not mess with the jello men. And here. Oh, we've got, we've got one here. What's oh, I like the colour of that one. Level 60. I love the colour of that one. Level 12. Oh, level 40, 48. Huh. Something tells me we're not going to get much better. What a beautiful day just on, like, Kano Island. What a day to die, eh? And down we go. I've got one of you. What are you? 16. Oh, we've got, we got two over here, actually. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. We're just going to have to kill the other one first. Is there any others? No. Right. Hey, what, what, which way are you the uh, You're the high-level one. Oh, God. Oh, God. I need, me, uh, I need my tank on. Damn. Okay. Boat's there. No, the other, never mind. The other one's like just swimming away. Okay. We've got a chance to get this one now. Okay. Now, the good thing about Megs is they're not that fast. Like, if you need to swim away from them, they're kind of easy. Look, like, create a bit of distance, shoot them. And we can maneuver a lot better than they can. Watch. Exhibit A. See? It's like... It's like when they get so close to you, quickly move to the side, left and right, and they, they lose track of you. And now look, if you stay at the side of them and move back, not too close to them, we can, we can get it. Where well, comes its boyfriend though? Now we need the boat because there's two of them. And it's just safer, just safer. Me up here. Right, where's them? Uh, there we go. We need this. We need these. Let's just uh, take out the boy. Are you the male? Are you Are you the male? You're level four. So this one should die almost instantly. Told you. And we'll take our spears back. Where's? Oh no, which one? Is it you? No. Oh, whoa, 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 where are you going? Come back here. Guy Trank's back out. Oh, she's coming back. She's coming back. Come on, old gal. We need you. You're the main attraction. Oh, I hit her. Yeah, take that. Excuse me, I'm behind you. Eat me. Or at least take a bite out of me. Come on, what's the matter with you? You're an embarrassment to sharks. Okay, okay. Let's run rings around three of them then, eh? Come on then. I've got this, I've got this. Look, look, I've got an army of sharks behind me, but I don't care. This isn't how you should be taming Megs, is it really? Like, you should be afraid to get in the water with Megs, but me, I'm just like, yeah, I'm gonna swim alongside. Look, I'm even getting me like, me arrows, me uh, bolts back. Oh, there we go, we got it. Okay, quickly uh, change you. Yeah, I lose it. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh my God, they're very close to me. Oh my God, we've got loads of them coming now. I hope I've got enough bolts. Right. So, guys, you're gonna have to bear with me one second. I just need to get my hair, uh, my stuff inside. Ah! Inside this mech, okay? Oh, I got one. I killed one. So remember, when you're swimming backwards, they'll catch up to you. But when you swim forwards, you're way faster than them. Obviously, we're flippers. Okay, go, 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 go. I can make it round. I can make it round. Come on, come on. Go, 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 go. There we go. I'm a lot lighter now, so I can swim a bit faster. Which one of y'all hit me? Ooh, now that is a giant goldfish. 
Oh my god! This front one must be like... Oh, he's nearly dead anyway, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, I was gonna say he must be the King Daddy, but he's gone. Ah! Quick! Swim away! Hey, get off my boat, you swine! He's killing my boat! I think he's destroying my boat. Hey! How do you think you're doing? Get off my boat! You crook. Come here, I'm gonna pull all the little... Yeah, take that. Take all the rock. Ugh. Get off my boat! You son of a... Ugh. Can you kill this? Ah! I'm not bothered about the boat because obviously... Come on, then. Oh! Jesus Christ, it's coming for me. You son of a... It looks like it's getting bloody, though. Come back here. Oh. That is definitely getting bloody. Come back here. Come on, I can, I can do this. That's it, come for me. Oh, it's coming, it's bloody. Oh, oh yes. Take that. Lazarus Chowder. Got... Whoa, what the hell? Oh, Jesus Christ. Quick, swim away. Swim me. Swim. Well, I gotta fucking move. Oh, you son of a bitch. Wow, level 112. Fucking Jello man. Fuck off. I'm not gonna lie, guys. This Kano Island is literally like one of my favorite places to come. Like, everything here wants to kill you. If you're up for a scrap, gee boy, this is the place. I mean, look, you got Rexes, you got Arges, you got Sabertooths, you got literally everything. Carnos, Raptors. Literally everything on this island is gonna kill you. They even, they're just killing each other as well. You got little, like, Pelagornis's like. Oh my god, stay away from that side. My name's Ben, and welcome to Num Nuts. Go! It's like a shit version of Jackass. Ooh, a ribbon. We'll take everything. Run! What, what was that we've got? We've got like an awesome new... Wow, Mastercraft Terror Beard. Hell yeah. Here we are. Hopefully the Jello has effed off. There's my body. Okay, let's go, let's go, go, go. Oh, the oven. Is that mine? Is that my mega? Come on, Jello man. Come get some tasty food. Come on, come on. Right, now they're a bit away from my body. Hopefully I can get in the water. And jump, and go, 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 swim, mother fluffer. There you go. Uh, I need you, 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 you. Go! Is that my meg up? Is my meg up? Are you alive? Oh my god, my meg's up. Oh god, there's a meg behind us. Hey meg, do you want to jump in at any moment? What level are you? Level 60, okay. Get it, Meg! I'm gonna take the Jello Man out. You take that one out. Oh god, oh god. These, these guys are for real. Just keep your distance from these guys. Don't you dare go after them. But hey, we got the high level one. Oh, revenge is a dish best saved on the water. Or something like that, anyway. You're not our Meg. Where's our Meg gone? Are you our Meg? You're not our Meg either. What? Fuck. Hey, yo, you're my Meg, right? Why the hell do the Megs do that? Like, they get a kill and they're, like, they go AWOL. <laughs> Look at all this. Like, you got dead Megs everywhere. You got dead 
goldfish over there. You got dead jellos that I've already. Like, oh, goodbye. You are ours, aren't you? Yeah. Hey, you. Come here. Why, why, did, why did they do that? Someone explain this to me. I'm just going along and collecting all this fish. And I'm not going to lie, guys. The Meg's pretty beasty when you're collecting all fish. Look at that. I'm getting like 200, almost 300 every single Meg that I eat. Come here, you. Wow. Okay, so let's go and get the big goldfish. Okay, so we're going to see how much we can get from this guy. Okay, we are getting a lot of hide. Whoa, we got a lot of hide there and a lot of prime meat. Wow. Okay, so the Meg's pretty badass when it comes to gathering fish or even hide, actually. Hide off of them. Pretty decent, but raw prime meat? They can get raw prime meat like no tomorrow and normal fish meat as well, obviously, but who cares about normal fish meat? So, one of the main reasons for taming this overweighted goldfish is they can take you deep down, and I mean deep down, deep down south. The deep south. They can take you under the water and collect all the nice materials at the bottom here. We've got some silicon pearls here just flashing away at the bottom here. Let's get that. There we go. And you can get a great deal of silicon pearls down here. Not only that, you can actually see some great creatures down here. This is where you'll start getting, there we go, look, plesiosauruses. We'll have like mosasaurs. You'll have all sorts of cool underwater creatures. Just don't take them on because they're a bit scary. I, th I think I think they're uh, they're looking into my soul or something like that. I love exploring under the sea. And with the Meg, it kind of makes you feel a, a little bit more comfier. Just don't fuck with the Jello men. Now I know guys, when I was taming a Megalodon, I was out swimming these guys, but it's true. These are a lot faster once you tame them. I mean, look how fast we're swimming now compared to what they were, which is a bit of a disappointment. I wish the Megs actually swum this fast normally and then they could sprint and be a lot faster because as you imagine a Megalodon in real life or back in the day, you would expect a massive creature that would literally make you terrified to even go in the water. And these Megs, not only are they too small, they they just don't, they lack that animosity. They lack the ability to just rip your balls off and, you know, drag you into the depths of hell and torture your soul. But I definitely do believe that these guys need a TLC because other than their deep sea exploration, these guys don't have that much that goes for them. Now, not only can Megs get demolished by good old Jello men, they're not exactly the best for killing other things in the ocean even. One thing I hate about Megs is they're hard to maneuver under the water, especially when attacking something. Like now, the best thing to do is swim away turn around and then come at it again from the front like so uh, we just took a level 16 out pretty easy actually the attack damage isn't actually too bad i've always hated the megalodons and thought their attack damage was pretty bad but the the attack on this guy is absolutely amazing or this gal should i say is absolutely amazing normally i use megalodons just to kill like these little fish because they can always take these out one shot, no matter what, like so. And it's an easy method of getting fish. So the one thing I do hate, guys, is the stamina of a Meg. Now, it's not too bad once you've boosted it a little. But normally, to start with, you get about a 1,000. I think I got a 1,000 with mine. And the stamina, it drains rather rapidly when you're attacking and swimming. So if you're just swimming like this, you can see it's not too bad. It's going down reasonably it's acceptable, let's say. But when you're attacking other megs or other fish and swimming at the same time, you can see it starts going down rather quickly, which kind of sucks. But I guess that can be improved in time. Oh shit, a Mosasaur come out of nowhere. One good thing about a Megalodon is they can swim straight up or straight down. Normally, marine creatures on our can't actually do that, surprisingly. So these guys have the ability to just shoot straight up. And no, guys, I'm afraid they cannot do the leap of death out of the water. How cool would that be, though? Just being able to, like, see a seagull from above or something and just jump out of the ocean, out of the water, just start chewing on it. That would be absolutely amazing. But these guys, unfortunately, cannot do that. 
when it comes to the way of the Megalodon, technically it sucks. But I wouldn't really be using a Meg to carry much anyway. I mean, you might use it, uh, you might use it in place of a raft, but I don't think I will. I think I'll stick to my raft. The main thing about the Megalodon you need to remember, guys, is do not go and fuck with Jello men. They will literally electrocute you and keep you frozen in place, and you will literally die. It doesn't matter what level your Meg is, they will literally maul it. So please do not go and attack Jello men. So for me, guys, I've got to say the Megs actually surprised me. I say the Megs. If you get a low-level Meg, guys, they suck ass. They suck. They are absolutely terrible. If you get a high-level one, then you're going to be laughing because these guys can actually be pretty great. I'm not going to lie. This is the best I've ever had of a Meg. So in all honesty, guys, the Meg isn't too bad. I would definitely recommend you get a high-level or get no-level because these guys suck low-level. High-level, I would say great. But that has been it for me, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to leave that like. And also don't forget to subscribe and get ready to share it with all your friends and your family, especially your nan. And I'll see you in the next episode, guys.